Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. I have a super exciting video today because we are making beanies. We will be making this checkered one here. It will actually allow you to learn a lot of skills, such as double crochet, switching colors, and how to avoid adding or missing stitches. Okay, so for materials, I will be using a five millimeter hook. And for yarn, this is a scrap yarn project. This blue navy color is from Karen Simply Soft. And this white color is from One Pound Lion brand. And I will link them all down below. It doesn't matter which color you get started with, because as you can see here, there's an equal amount of each color, right? You're gonna go ahead and make a slip knot. I make my slip knot by wrapping my yarn around twice and I pull the yarn forward and kind of hold it with my thumb. And now this yarn that's in the back, I pull that one forward and pull it off of my finger like that. And then there's a little loop here and you insert your hook. And when you pull it up, it tightens. And when you pull on the working yarn, it secures it to your hook. So that's how you make your slip knot. From here, you're going to make a chain of 43. And to make a chain, you yarn over and pull up a loop. Again, that's yarn over and pull up a loop. And you just want to repeat that for a total of 43. And I'll meet you at the end of the chain. Here we are with the chain of 43. The last three chains were actually our turning chain. So you can call this a chain of 43. You could also call it a chain of 40 plus three, meaning that the plus three indicates your turning chain. And we are working with double crochets. So it's a turning chain for a double crochet row. So we're going to start with double crochets and we're keeping the same color we started with, at least for the beginning. So this is the first chain, this is the second, and this is the third. We're going to go into the fourth chain from the hook with a double crochet. And double crochet is yarn over. Make sure you're going in the right stitch and insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two. And yarn over, pull through two. That is double crochet. We're gonna do that one more time. Yarn over, and in the next chain space, insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and that is your double crochet. We're gonna do that a total of two more times. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So this is the fourth double crochet, and we're actually not going to complete it. So you're gonna insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two and you're going to stop right here. The pattern we're working on, as you can probably see here, does one, two, three, four double crochet, switch color, one, two, three, four, switch color, so on and so forth. So it's four double crochets in one color and then four in the other. So when you get to your fourth double crochet of whichever color you're working on, you grab the yarn, for the second color, and we're going to go ahead and attach it. So to attach it, you want to leave a good amount of a tail of your yarn, about this much. And then you're going to hang it over your hook like this. So you have about this much of a tail, and you have something that looks like this. So you yarn over and pull through and finish your double crochet with that second color. Okay, you might need to tug on both colors a bit just to make sure it looks a bit uniform. And if you look at it like this, you've actually ended the double crochet, but started with a new color. So you want to keep this tail in mind of the first color you had and the new color, and you want to work it in as you go and working it in just means that you're basically hiding it so the ends aren't poking out and your work looks really clean and seamless. So from here, you want to take the yarn that's coming from the ball of the second color and continue to make your double crochets as usual. So you're gonna yarn over and insert your hook and have those tail ends that I was talking about 
sitting on top of your hook. That's how you work them in. So you're going to yarn over again and pull up a loop. Do you see how they're all tucked in? And then you yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two, and you just make a double crochet as normal. So you're going to do that two more times for a total of three. Okay, so we did two more and we have three in total. So this will be the fourth double crochet. And on the fourth one, you don't complete it. Sorry, let me show you again. You insert your hook into that chain space. You yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and don't finish. So the good thing about this time of switching the colors is the yarn is already attached. Just be aware that your yarn will start to cross as you switch colors and you will get um, your yarn tangled if you're not paying attention. So every couple of times you change colors, just be sure to go ahead and unravel these tails because you'll have a really big knot that won't be super fun to take apart later on if you don't pay attention to it from the beginning. Another way to avoid this is make sure that you alternate the way you pick up and drop your yarn while you're switching colors. So for me, I'm gonna bring the yarn first color up in the front. Okay, and I'm going to yarn over and pull through to switch my colors like that. And again, like I said, you might have to do a little bit of tugging on both of the colors to make it look uniform and even. So now we're working with our first color again. From here, go in with a double crochet in the next stitch as normal and make three double crochets. I'm going to show you one more time how to switch your colors on the fourth one. So here we're on the fourth one, right? You just stop your double crochet before the last time you pull through two and go ahead and switch your colors. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to keep the blue in the back. So white in the front and blue in the back. And that will help me avoid the tangling of these colors. So I'm going to take blue in the back. You can see white's falling in the front, blue in the back, yarn over and pull through both. So we just switched over to blue, which is our second color. And we're going to go in again with the three normal double crochet. And then our final double crochet, the fourth one, which is where we switch. I'm just showing this again to see that I'm putting the white in front of the blue when I pick it up to yarn over and pull through, just a reminder to not have your yarn twisting up on itself and creating a big ball. So you want to complete this until you get to the end of the row. So here we are at the end of the row and I just wanted to demonstrate, sometimes it can be a little confusing when you get to the end, you may question, do I go into this last stitch? Is this a stitch at all? What is it? <laughs> So that's why I really like this pattern because we can clearly see we have one, two, three blue double crochet and we actually need four of them. So we're gonna go in and insert our last double crochet. And because we're at the end of the row, you actually complete this one as normal. Okay, and we don't change colors. So the very last double crochet in the row, you finish as normal and you don't change colors in this row. What we are actually going to do from here is chain up three. So one, two, three, and turn your work, okay? So this is a turning chain. It does not count as a stitch. And what you also want to do is bring your secondary color up along the side here. And we're gonna continue to work it into our beanie because we will continuously change colors. I feel like visual aids are always very useful. So again, I'm going to show you that along with having four of each color, this is actually two rows of double crochet on top of each other. So we have one, two, three, four, and right on top of it, we have one, two, three, four again. And then it's in that third row where we actually switch colors on top of each other. And that's how you get that checkered pattern. So. 
for this next row, we will be keeping like color on top of like color. In the first stitch, which is this one that we just did, we're going to go in with a double crochet. And like we did in the previous row, we will be making a total of three regular double crochet, like so. And then on the last one, don't finish the double crochet, but pick up your next color and change. So again, I'm going to keep blue in the back and white in the front. I'm going to take the white, yarn over, and pull through to avoid mixing up my yarn. Next, we're going to do, again, three regular double crochet. And on the fourth one, one more time, we're going to switch colors by not finishing it. So white in front, blue in the back. And sometimes you want to tug on that other yarn because it might be bulging up in the back. So just pull on it to make sure it's nice and flat as possible. But white, keep it in the front. And blue, keep it in the back. Yarn over and pull through. And again, you may want to tighten with both colors. So continue doing that until the end of the row. Like color on top of like color. And I'll meet you at the very end. So I just wanted to chime in again to continue this lesson of keeping your edges straight and not missing stitches and things of that nature, okay? You may come and look at your work and count one, two, three, four, and five. You may say, isn't that a fifth stitch right over here? But it's not. It's actually your turning chain and it does not count as a stitch. So when someone says turning chain does not count as a stitch, that's what it means. It means you do not work into it. So our next step would be to work our double crochet and we will not be finishing it because as I said before after we do two rounds of double crochet we will be switching colors. From here we want to take our second color, keep blue in the back, yarn over and pull through and tighten both colors. And then you're going to chain up three like we did before and turn our work. So again, you're going to carry up the other color. You're going to bring it right here along that side and then over here and you're going to work it in. And now you just keep on repeating this pattern, but just in the opposite. So we're going to do two rows blue, white, blue, white, and then you do two rows of white, blue, white, blue. So I'm going to show you one more time, right? So now we have four whites. This is the ch turning chain that does not count as a stitch. And we're going to go into that very first stitch while working in our white color. So you do your three regular double crochets. In your fourth one you don't finish it instead you switch colors so blue in the back white in the front to not have it twisted yarn over and pull through your loops and tighten with both colors okay so at this point i'm pretty confident you have the pattern down you're going to do blue white blue white blue white blue white blue white you're not going to change colors you're going to chain up three and go white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, blue to make two rows of like colors on top of each other, right? We're going to continue that pattern for 28 rows. So I'll meet you at row 28 and show you how to finish the hat. Really simple repeat pattern, not too complicated. If it was confusing for you, just feel free to rewatch the steps I just explained and I'm sure you'll get it. I'll see you at the end of the 28th row. Okay, so all 28 rows have been completed. Once you're done your rows, we're going to fold the hat in half like so. I ended on the navy blue color. From here, you can cut the other color that you're not currently using. So right now it's white. I'm gonna pull it up a bit and just cut it right there. 
we don't need it again. And I'm going to fold in half like this. From here, we're going to single crochet these two ends together. So we started with a chain. So in every chain, we just finished this last row, we're gonna chain up one and go under that double crochet and under the first chain stitch and go in with a single crochet to join. So single crochet is insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And you are just going to single crochet each double crochet from the previous row you just did with each chain stitch that we did at the very, very beginning. Go ahead and just insert one single crochet in all of the stitches and I'll meet you at the end of the row. And once you make it down to the end of the row, you're gonna chain up one, and you actually want to cut a pretty long tail because we're going to use it to connect the hat up at the top. So I'm gonna cut it right about there and pull the yarn through to fasten off. And I'd say I have about two and a half feet of yarn but this is how much I have. So if you have a yarn needle, this would definitely be the time to use it. But if you don't, I'm going to show you how to close it out with your crochet hook. I personally like to use the least amount of tools as possible. So start somewhere that's not longer than your hook. So I'd say about here and just insert your hook back and forth in between those top double crochets. Just sweep it back and forth like that and then yarn over and pull through that string. You may lose it. Just yarn over and pull it through all of the double crochet that you just weaved in and out of and just pull it like that and then you should be around here with your yarn and go again somewhere far out, but not farther than the length of your hook, or it'll be really difficult to get back to the spot you started at. And I'm not going anywhere particular, just where the hook falls naturally. And you're gonna yarn over again and pull your yarn through all of those loops. And we're going to continue to do this until we come back to the very point that we started at. The more times you can do this, the better and the more secure it will be. And then you can start to see where you're weaving the yarn in and out. It's kind of like bunched up and if you pull like this, it comes together. Whereas the side where we have not done that yet, it's still very open. So we're almost back at the start. We started where we connected the hat right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put my hook around that area. And I just have a few more to do and pull it through. And I'm just going to pull it shut. So because this is just a single piece of yarn, you don't want to pull on it too tight. So what I'm going to do is now I have it closed and this is the top of the hat but I'm gonna go around a couple more times because my finger can actually go into there and you don't want that because that means the hat isn't fully closed. Because these colors are so contrasting, it's a little bit hard to see, but I just put my hook through again, like I said, wherever it falls naturally, and I just keep on going around and around a few times so that hole really, really closes and it's super secure. So that's why I left um, quite a bit of a tail end because you don't want to have to pull so tight on this and it snaps. It's better to have it longer and just reinforce it multiple times rather than just doing it once and then it's not as secure and then your yarn can snap because you're pulling too tight. So I'm just going to go around a couple more times and then we should be good. So I went around a few more times. My finger can no longer go through, so that's really good. What I'm going to do now is I have the yarn over here. So from the opposite side of wherever the yarn is, I'm going to put my 
hook under, yarn over, and pull through, similar to if we were attaching yarn. And I'm gonna chain up two. The chain two is far more secure than the chain one, and I'm going to fasten off. So I'm just gonna pull down those two chains and it makes a really secure knot here. And from here, I'm just going to weave in my ends down this single crochet that we used to close the two sides together. So that's how I weave in my ends here. This is the inside of the hat, mind you. So you won't really be seeing any of this. That doesn't mean don't do a good job. It just means you probably won't be seeing it. After I weave in that last end, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And this is the inside of the hat. You can clearly see where it starts here. And then if I open and fold it, it's not as obvious over here. I did go ahead and add two more rows. So that's why it's not checkered here. If I added another two rows, it would be checkered. And if I didn't add this extra row, it would still be checkered. It's not a super big deal, especially once you flip it up and you would wear that part at the side anyways go ahead and cut any hanging threads or weave in any ends you should have luckily with this project you don't have many of them but thank you so much for watching if you have any questions please leave them down below and i'll see you in the next one take care bye